Hi there and welcome to The Labyrinth. As we enter into 2024, it is always handy to get an insight on what we can expect over the next year. You will need to work out not only what your ruling number is, but also your personal year number. So your ruling number is based on your date of birth and your year of birth. Okay, so that is the, your day number, your month number and your year number. So ruling number, just reminding you. So for a person that's born on the 25th of March, 1985, we add the two plus five for the days to the three for the month. So there's two plus five plus three is 10. And then we add the one for 19, 10, 11, 20, 28, 35, um, and reduce it down to an eight by adding the three plus five. So that's the ruling number for this person is the 35 slash eight. A personal year is equal as outlined here to 25, two plus five, plus three, five, three, eight, ten. It's a little bit late in the day for me. Plus two is 12, plus two is 14, plus four is 18. So then we reduce it down again. One plus eight equals a nine. So based on this example, the ruling number is an eight and they are in a personal year of nine for 2024. Next year, they will be in a personal year of one. I hope that makes sense to you. So people in a personal year of five can expect to have some spiritual and emotional factors to be the prevailing force over 2024. It's kind of the, or the year, the energy of the year is kind of like a bridge between the trough of last year, which was about consolidation and the peak of next year, which is a bit of a mini peak and it's creative. So you can expect to feel freer this year than in the past. And you can also expect that you're going to have a heightened psychic awareness and ability to personally express yourself. Now, this will likely come along with a desire to develop artistic talents, whether it's as a hobby or as a work thing. Um, the material world and social confinement are going to have less of a grip on you. Under a personal year of five, some people have launched new careers, while others have found new ways of working, such as changing house, working from home, moving overseas, or moving um, out of the city areas uh, into the country or rural locations. So that's worth considering. If that happens, let us know. So over the month of January, it basically is stating that you're going to start to assert yourself more certainly within the family unit and socially and it may take people by surprise if they're not used to seeing you basically stand up for yourself and and express what you want and what you need and ultimately january will be a good month for you because you'll experience a lot more um personal sense of freedom or liberty in your daily affairs once you start expressing to people what it is that you would like. Um, so it's going to be a month of liberation for you to some extent. So for those people with a ruling number in a personal year of five, um, generally, and this includes 2024 for you guys, they will find that this year has the desire for freedom that is almost obsessive. And the advice there is that there's a need for realization that this is not the physical freedom that it is that your heart is yearning for but basically the freedom of expression to be able to release your feelings in positive ways and this is where you are encouraged to find an artistic pursuit or endeavor because when we talk about personal expression we're not talking just about words words is part of it but we can also express our innermost feelings through activities such as music and painting and pottery or even if that's not your scene a bit of gardening or a bit of craft work and it has the added benefits that it helps to calm the nerves and it helps to allow you to regain equilibrium and to retain a demeanor of peacefulness so these are the things you're encouraged to do over the um, next year or over 2024.